Welcome to Dark Celtic <laughs> History. <laughs> Ben Nia, or Washerwoman, can be seen at the side of a desolate stream and pool washing the bloodstained clothing of those who are about to meet a violent death. The clothing she, was, she washes takes different forms depending upon the legend. Sometimes it is a burial shrouds and in others it is the bloodstained clothing of those who will soon die. Unlike the Irish version, Ben She, who is a very beautiful but she is very extremely ugly. She is sometimes described as having a single nostril, one large buck tooth, and extremely long droopy breasts. Her long stringy hair is partially covered with a hood and a white gown or shroud is her main wardrobe. Dressed in green, she is small in stature and has webbed feet. If you can get that close to see without being killed, of course. Now when the Benia is sighted, it is usually by someone who sees her washing bloody clothes and calls the authorities to investigate. Her appearance makes her look quite pathetic. No one would believe she could be dangerous or kill someone. Benia wants to draw in men of authority and take their lives. No one knows for sure why the Benia does this, but the story is that an evil and ruthless English soldier hundreds of years ago came across her. She was old and weak and had just buried her husband of 50 years after he fell from a hill and hit his head. The soldier wouldn't believe the woman's story and accused her of killing the man. He beat the woman unmercifully, almost to the point of death, and then he would let her heal and do it all over again. In his remote duty station, Deep in the highlands, he had little else to do. This went on for over a year. The woman was unsightly and even more pathetic looking than she had been. But she never begged for her life, which was a point of contention between her and the menacing English soldier. No one in the little village that he was stationed at ever did anything to help the woman either. No one who ever came through the town into onto somewhere else ever did anything as well. Now her cruel, cruel treatment her cruel treatment was overlooked and put out of mind. To speak up or say something might put themselves in the same predicament. Then one fateful day after a particularly cruel beating she lay in her cell bloodied, clinging to life. The soldier had had so much sadistic enjoyment this time he noticed his uniform was bloodied beyond what he would accept if his superior happened to come by for his monthly check. So the soldier threw a bucket of water upon the woman and demanded she get up and take his uniform to the stream and wash it. He demanded she make it clean or she would be beaten more. Now the old woman gradually pulled herself up, made herself right. Her tattered clothing had been destroyed in the melee of the beating. Falling from her spindly arms and legs, he handed her a white and green gown that he had found upon the road and said that she could wear that. The woman limped out of the jail carrying his uniform and made her way to the stream, leaving a trail of blood upon the dirt and gravel as she went. Even she wondered how much more punishment she could endure. But as she walked, she felt her strength come back to her, and she watched as her wounds healed her before her very eyes. Before she even reached the stream, she felt stronger than she has ever felt in her entire life, even when she was a young, beautiful girl. Now it was at this moment she hatched her plan for vengeance. She took off the gown and ran and jumped into the water. She swam and played and had a wonderful time. However, time had gotten away from her. Suddenly, she could hear the soldier coming for her. She quickly got out of the water, threw on the gown, and began to furiously clean the uniform fearing a beating that she knew was coming. When the soldier saw that she had barely even got started, he became enraged. He angrily advanced upon her, swung her back forcefully as he doubled up his fist to administer her final beating. This swung back the hood, and it fell from her head. Instantly, he could see something had changed in her, but was not about to let that stop him. His mighty blow just bounced right off of her. 
the force of it crushing the bones in his hands. And as he reeled in pain, she just smiled. With one blow, she reached into his chest and pulled his heart from. Still beating, she showed it to him as the life drained from his body, and he fell to the ground lifeless. From then on, she knew her place in the universe, and she freely accepted it. She turned and skipped off into the woods.